I'm Rachel, this is Let Me in the Library, and guess what? Number one, uh, I'm currently reading Golden Sun. I'm reading this with a bunch of friends who live nearby in the area, and it was just like a random thing where we all were like, I'm reading Red Rising, I'm reading Red Rising too! And we all just decided to kind of do this impromptu book club thing. Some people are like way ahead already on Morningstar, other people are still kind of around where I am, still reading Golden Sun. We're doing that, and I have 11 hours and 15 minutes left, but the book, the audiobook gets returned in like 13 hours, so I really doubt I'll actually be able to finish it in time, even on double speed, because my headphones are dead. But I needed to go to the library to get a copy of Golden Sun. I had a copy, I lent it to my boyfriend, and he is reading and annotating in it. So I need to get a copy myself, so that way I can also read through. Number two, I found out that they're having a book sale this weekend. So I have a great tote bag that is brand new. Uh, it's gigantic, so I'll be able to put all kinds of books in here to um, buy and take home. I know I have so many books already, and I still have like book hauls and stuff that I have not really done on this channel, but Man, it's just so hard to resist. So I'm gonna be going and doing all that stuff. And also close by in the area is one of George Washington's like bases of operation. So that seems like a really fun thing to go and check out. And we thought, let's go walk around the mall and the mall has a Barnes and Noble. So I figured it'd be a great like bookish day to vlog. At the same time, I also have a few projects that I've been really meaning to make progress on. Uh, one of which is lace jackets. So I made two lace jackets over the summer. Um, I made them with Jayla and they were really, really fun. They were great and I made them for myself, but I also wanted to start making them for friends. Uh, and one of those friends that I was making one for, I was like already in the process of it, uh, her birthday already passed and that was what I was making it for. And I really wanted to work on that. And I found a great thrift store where you can go and get like jean jackets and stuff for like only 12 bucks so that I could make even more for more friends. And I also have a gift that I owe to my boyfriend that I was thinking of and I had like all these great ideas for it, but the actual execution of making it all happen was a bit delayed. Luckily, he said that he has a gift for me. It hasn't come yet. So I feel like this is the last little stretch of time in this weekend where I can work on it and it will still be socially acceptable for me to get back on my gift giving game so they're not always so late. I'm trying to be better as always, but that's kind of like my plan for today, uh, which is so much stuff to do today, but it's fine. Like, I really just want to go in with the energy of like, I'm gonna get all this stuff done. And uh, so I figured I would take you with me so you can keep me accountable, um, but I'm gonna just go and do stuff. I guess we'll start off by going to the library. So let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many books. Uh, not like a, a really wild amount. The last time that I was here, I left with like five full boxes of books. Today I very much behaved. I think I have like maybe five books. Oop, that's my purse. I have maybe five books uh, in here. So I behaved. <laughs> almost forgot to get this. And also, oh my god, I've been looking for this. This is very cool. I'm gonna get this too. The library is a dangerous place. 
Oh, I did not like that. Mm. I did not like that book. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much. Next customer. definitely not like people don't live here it's historic rocky him but I just don't exactly know what I'm looking for or at so I think we're done here <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next spot Dead Romantics. This is Cinder. Mm, not sure about this one. Oh, I thought maybe this was Book Lovers, but then I saw it's horror. This has to be a uh, Misery, I think. Love this book. This is a great book. I really liked this book. Man, they made it so pretty too. Is this Harry Styles? Really, really seriously considering getting this tattoo. I think someone set off the alarm, but we're gonna ignore that. I am like halfway through this. Obviously, I love this book. I didn't know that this was just like here. Oh my god. Hey, I was editing this and realized that I never showed you what books I actually ended up getting. So let me do that now. One of them is the best of the best American science writing. Um, do I really remember what this is about? Well, spoiler alert, I absolutely haven't picked up any of these since the time of the vlog recording, but uh, I think this is basically just talking about different scientific endeavors, things that are very interesting about the science world, with people who are very good about writing about them. Uh, I know that sounds very basic, it's very obvious from like what the title is, but I always really enjoy things like uh, the book like Close Encounters from, with Humankind that just talk about strange things uh, of scientific phenomena and how it all relates to the world. I also picked up a random thing. This is the second book. Uh, it's The Chronicles of Amber. And I was told that this is a very good series. And I feel like it's the kind that's like really out of print probably at this point. Um, literally no idea what this is about, but it feels like, you know, based on the cover, barbarian type of guy fighting little jackal type of folks. Um, so it seemed interesting enough for me to either parse through and get D&D &D ideas, which is most of the reason that I read nowadays, or uh, just generally to see an interesting story if it is actually supposed to be very good. Now, here's the exciting stuff. So I got Day World. This is a little bit uh, obscure again, but also this is one that my dad was recommending to me. This is supposed to be like a future where people go into cryogenic sleep regularly and you basically only live one day out of seven. So you'll wake up and be like, all right, it's Monday, that's my day, and you live your life. And then you go into cryogenic sleep for Tuesday through Sunday until Monday again, and then you live your life again. So I guess that means like you would only interact with a certain number of people who are also all awake slash alive on Monday. But the whole reason this exists is because of overpopulation. So the idea is that people can't all be 
I guess, using resources all at once. Now, I would guess, just based on the premise, that the twist would be like, actually, you weren't waking up only one week apart, you were really waking up, like, you know, months and months apart or something like that. Um, I'm not sure how they would really effectively hide that from people if there is actually still news, but if people are willingly going into cryogenic sleep all the time, I feel like the idea of propaganda uh, and obscuring the reality of the world would not be that far off. So that's uh, a very cool concept and it's definitely the kind of thing of like what's the real secret of what's really happening and whatever so that seems fun and this is the many colored world this is so hard to get your hands on if you try to buy this on like amazon or whatever i think it's like 70 dollars. so i wasn't gonna do that but at the book sale again this was like three bucks so if you know me you know i don't like dinosaurs they're very scary they're terrifying i will absorb content all about dinosaurs because i like to scare myself but uh, this concept is supposed to be like, people in the present are visited by aliens, and I think the aliens are like, cool, we're here to help you or whatever, now come through this portal with us, and you will help us do the thing that we want to do. So those people go into the portal, and I guess like a bunch of other people are going to follow as well. Now, the reality is, the people who go into the portal who think that they're going to go into, like, the alien world and learn all kinds of new things about technology and how to make the world better actually end up way back in the Stone Age beyond that. Well, before the Stone Age, because they're with the dinosaurs. So they are alive during, like, prehistoric eras. Uh, and during that time is, I guess, like just <laughs> no civilization like nobody who can help them and these aliens are basically like you work for us now and then they basically make them do all kinds of like manual labor and uh they they claim this is going to be like some kind of paradise for them when they were about to go through the portal and really the paradise is just that the aliens rule and the humans have to do whatever they want whatever, whatever the aliens want so i think the concept of this really is like could you possibly in the prehistoric time leave clues for future civilizations to kind of clue them in like hey don't go don't go through that portal remember that thing that they promised was going to be good don't do that because that's going to be bad so that's the premise of it as it's been described to me and that sounds really cool i really hope i'm not wrong about that premise because i've been super excited about it for a really long time and haven't bothered to even crack this open and make sure that that's correct but i've been super excited about it so Highly exciting. Now, the last one that will be recognizable to uh, some people on booktube, I think, is The Empress of Salt and Fortune, which I was so shocked to see. They just had it laying there. Beautiful novella. I love this book. This is very good. Um, this is... Uh, it really, like, gives you the sense of, like, folklore, of sort of, like, modern-ish folklore that definitely takes place in the past, but uh, just has, like, a lyrical prose to it and it's really really enjoyable so I was super excited to get this one too um that's my little book haul basically I don't think I really got anything else from Barnes and Noble either I think I really just browsed around and was like classics look so cool I'm a big fan but I'm not gonna buy any of these because they are like $30 each and I don't really read classics so I should probably read them first figure out if I like them and then try to buy a fancy copy if I want to so that's pretty much my haul and now I'll get back to the past and uh then later we'll come back to the future <laughs> closes in under 10 minutes my dna books again because i keep not reading them in time so i need dm's guide and dm 3.5 this river of silver that i was just looking at in the bookstore they have my hero academia okay i just made the five minute announcement i'm gonna go check out and i'm gonna go home and enjoy my books stuff I said I was going to do in that weekend, but I have no sense of how long things actually take, apparently, although I did complete that project um, for my boyfriend, so I will show you what that looks like. It took a lot of work. It took way longer than I thought it was going to because it's actual effort to create art. Surprise, surprise. This is why people pay for it. Now I just actually need to frame it so that it is presentable um, and add the tiny little finishing touches there, and then I can actually give it to him. Um, which I will do hopefully tomorrow or the next day when I see him. I'm gonna drop into Ikea. Much of what I have to do this weekend, and probably for the rest of my life now, is I need to, um, 
build stuff for D and D because I am now officially uh, going to be a dungeon master for a campaign that we're building, um, which is a very memey, silly campaign. You may have seen me um, going about town uh, on reading sprints with funny, weird books you've never seen before, and that's because they are uh, campaign books that are not part of the typical um, compendium. So I will be building some food-based adventures and other silly, memey things uh, over the course of this weekend and the rest of time forever. Uh, so that's going to be my main responsibility for this weekend, but I also want to get some of the rest of the uh, artsy uh, things done, clean things up, and uh, just be accountable. I did manage to give the map to my boyfriend and he really really liked it. Uh, we hung it up in his apartment so it's sitting there on display and basically the whole joke behind it was we kept coming up with uh, little areas around the world just based on funny things we were saying like you know I'm going to bed I'm going to sleepy town USA uh, stuff like that so we started making little flags and pinning them all over the map so we sometimes occasionally will come up with a new one and then pin it onto the net uh, onto the map I've never really done embroidery before so this was my first foray into that and it was really easy and fun surprisingly so uh, I feel like I'll definitely try doing more embroidery stuff in the future who knows what what the next project is gonna be but stay tuned and I'll take you along with me uh, other than that thanks for watching I'm Rachel this is Lemon Library I'll see you later bye